The fascinating story of the creation of the Titius Law began in Amsterdam in 1764 when the famous natural philosopher Charles Bonnet published his famous book called Contemplation de la Nature. Due to both the merits of the book and the fame of the author, the work was well received. In fact, by the time a new French edition was prepared for the publication of Bonnet's collection works, the work had been translated into no less than 4 languages. German, Italian, Dutch and English. Here the German translation is critical to our story as it was translated by Johann Daniel Titius. In his edition, Titius was not satisfied with a simple translation. Titius decided to add notes, but he did it in what would be for us a very unusual and unassuming way. He simply inserted them in the main text. Why Titius did this is something of a mystery. Perhaps he was following the conservative tradition of knowledge being common property. He had great respect for academic seniority, which was and still is a hallmark of German universities. This might have made him hesitant to presume to add to the writing of the famous Bonnet. Whatever the reason was, it had significant consequences. Titius inserted a new paragraph which translated as follows. For one pay attention to the weight of the planets from each other and notice that they are distant from each other almost in a proportion as their bodily height increases given the distance from sun to saturn as 100 units then mercury is distant four such units from the sun venus 4 plus 3 which is 7 of the same earth 4 plus 6 which is 10 mars 4 plus 12 which is 16 But see, from Mars to Jupiter there comes forth a departure from this so exact progression. From Mars follows a place of 4 plus 24 which is 28 such units, where at present neither a chief nor a neighboring planet is to be seen. And shall the builder have left this place empty? Never. Let us confidently wager that, without a doubt, this place belongs to the as yet still undiscovered satellites of Mars. Let us add that perhaps Jupiter also has several around itself that until now have not been seen with any glass. Above this to us unrevealed position arises Jupiter's domain of 4 plus 48 which is 52 and Saturn's at 4 plus 96 which is 100 units. What a praiseworthy relationship. This insertion contained what became known as the Titius Bode law. When Titius had just published the second edition of his translation Johann Elert Bode was finishing the second edition of his astronomy book and while doing so he came across the Titius's note and he was deeply struck by the agreement between this law and the orbital radii of the then known six planets. He added it on his footnote as well. However, there was only one difference between these two versions and that was Bode clearly predicted that an undiscovered main planet Not possibly a neighboring planet was located between Mars and Jupiter. For many years after the formulation of the law, no great stock was placed in it. However, after the discovery of Uranus, the law became famous. Initially, not everyone was ready to accept a new planet. However, when Anders Jon Lexell had published the first orbit calculation, it was only then that most astronomers realized that a new planet had been found. So this was all about the Titius Bode law. Do like, share and subscribe to our channel Explified. Follow our channel to get notifications about more interesting content.